So in uh, 1969, I had uh, left the, um, the sectarian left. And uh, at that time, I was, uh, you know, perhaps indulging myself by thinking about uh, sort of uh, politics uh, beyond, uh, beyond social uh, uh, affairs. And uh, I mean, the question of whether, whether humanity as a whole was rational and so forth and so on. And uh, I began to sort of indulge myself by thinking a lot about, uh, you know, science fiction, uh, communication with extraterrestrial intelligence, you know, and uh, that sort of thing. I mean, I was weaving that into some kind of uh, political uh, 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 perspective. And I would come over here and uh, sit in the uh, uh, park at that time. It was okay to do that. There was a science fiction bookstore up on 8th Avenue, just a few blocks up. So I would, uh, you know, buy a science fiction paperback, uh, you know, and then get a sandwich at a deli up here. And uh, then I would, uh, you know, I would come and, and sit down here at that time. Uh, I was enrolled at uh, NYU as an undergraduate. Bobes did not exist, and they had a separate science library in Main Building. So I did a lot of reading uh, there about uh, uh, cybernetics and that sort of thing. And I would come over here and just uh, contemplate uh, the possibility of a uh, you know politics uh, uh, outside of uh, uh, you know uh, human affairs. This is actually documented. I did a few short documents about this. Uh, I mean, I was really thinking myself out of Marxism, uh, uh, trying to uh, strip away all of Marx's assumptions. So, uh, his assumption that, uh, that a utopia was possible with uh, human beings as the raw material. So, uh, but I mean, there is not, not much dramatic about it, you know. I mean, I was just, uh, just hanging out over here, you know, and it was all going on in my head. So, uh, uh, however, I mean, there are, you know, short manuscripts uh, that uh, uh, summarize what I was thinking at this, at this time. As I uh, talked about uh, sitting in the uh, park and uh, speculating on uh, the idea of a politics uh, after the uh, human race or the next step after the human race or extraterrestrial politics or something like that, I mean, which was uh, based on, uh, to some extent, on reading that I was doing in the NYU Science Library, um, I said that it came to nothing, I mean, except that I, I wrote a few uh, leaflets or one-page memoranda, and uh, that otherwise nothing came of that. Uh, but that's actually not true. Uh, I found out about a science fiction meeting that was being held in Newark uh, at some uh, public uh, building in uh, Newark. Uh, um, uh, so I went over there on the PATH train and attended the thing, uh, carrying my leaflets uh, much in the same way that I carried the uh, Down With Art to the uh, uh, WAR meeting. And uh, what I found when I got there was that uh, these fellows uh, were exclusively interested in uh, science fiction as a commercial literary genre. They were talking about things like juveniles and writing pastiches and so forth and so on. And so once again, uh, my handouts fell completely flat. I guess that uh, once again, I, um, I was having this experience that when I tried to reach out and connect that uh, the well-meaning uh, um, activists or, or whatever they were, um, we're placing the most banal or, or mundane meaning on uh, 
the purpose. And, uh, you know, it turned out to have uh, nothing to do with me uh, uh, at all. And as I believe I may have said uh, in the clip uh, on the, at the Serpentine building, um, you know, there was also a possibility that, uh, I mean, it would have been equally honorable for me to simply stay home and uh, not reach out and not try to connect at all. Uh, I have no idea how matters would have turned out if I had done that, uh, but uh, of course I think that it's psychologically more healthy to um, sort of uh, initiate uh, contact even if nothing comes of it.